hello friends uh, in this video we are going to download some essential softwares so I welcome you to the Android common line tutorial series and it is the part 3 so we are going to download some essential softwares that you must need to set up this project and you must set up these things on your system to run the project successfully on your system so the first thing that I need is the Java JDK so let's go ahead and uh, search Java JDK just open up your favorite browser and search Java JDK so let's go ahead and search it the first website that you can see here it is Java SE downloads from Oracle technology network so let's go ahead and see what is inside okay so it says the Java SE 8U and something like this so it may sound gibberish to you I don't know okay from this page you can't really get the thing that you want so you can see that there is a JDK yes uh, let's go ahead and hit install oops sorry download and uh, in this case that you can see that so many versions of the Java SE development kit 8U101 is there I recommend you to install this version instead of this 8U102 because it's kind of a stable version and it is also stable <laughs> so let's go ahead and install it so whatever your operating system is you just hit this accept license agreement and just download the version that is compatible with your operating system now already I have showed you uh, that how you can check that operating system it is Windows x68 or x64 I'm going to still show you again just right click on your PC and go to the properties here so here you can see that it is minus 64 bit operating system so I am going to download the Windows X64 if you have the 32 bit operating system and you should go for this one and if you are having some other operating system like Linux Mac OS or Solaris you should download depending upon your operating system so we are going to download this version here Windows X64 so let's go ahead and download this basically I have already downloaded this onto my system and I'm not going to the step-by-step -step process that how you are going to download and install it it is a very simple installation just keep hitting next don't change anything like default directory or anything else just keep hitting next and it will be set up on your system very soon so after you download this just install this one so one more piece of software that we need here is the Android SDK so let's go ahead and search for this one and let's see what I get okay so first thing that you see here is the developer.android.com studio so what's inside let's go ahead and see uh, it is says that download Android studio and it is almost 1.6 gigabyte guys and it's a huge package uh, it comes with intelligent code editor and it's from IntelliJ basically they took the features of IntelliJ basically IntelliJ is the main IDE and you can run Android on it so what we need what we need what we need we need something else so yeah here you can see that Android studio package is there uh, it is the Android studio bundle and it is the IDE and it is also the Android studio but where we don't need the Android studio guys uh, we need something else let's go ahead okay so here you can see the get just the command line tools right so that is for windows that comes with an installer if you want to install the sdks on your system then you can go for this one and this is for mac os x and this is for linux so i don't know how to set this up on the solaris operating system but uh it is possible to do this on Linux, Mac OS X and Windows as well. So we are going to in download this in Android SDK Windows zip with no installer. So we basically don't need any installer. Uh, I really hate doing installing stuff on my system and I think you should too. Okay, so this is kind of a like uh, all the packages are inside this one this zip folder so you just have to download this one so i'm going to download this uh, basically i already download this download this for you says for my system and i think i should show you guys what is inside this package so let's go ahead and see okay <laughs> So this is the Android uh, SDK that you can see that Windows zip. So let's go ahead and unzip it and see what I get here. So extract all and extract. And it is says that 0% complete. Okay, my system is pretty much slow here. 
so while we wait for this uh, unzip to complete i'm going to tell you something about the android sdk this is the thing basically we are going to use to create our project so without android sdk you can't really create any project or anything else so you must need software for your system it is a must need software for your system guys so what it is actually doing on my system i have installed java okay that's fine because android is based on java and you need java to run android on your system like if you want to do some stuff like uh, you are extending something you are inheriting something that is the property of java and it is purely used in the android studio or whatever you say um, in the android app development so java is, is a must needed software that's why we install the java so let's go ahead and see that how to set up java on our system you have installed java let's see that where you have installed it so if you have installed in the default location you can see oh my god my c drive is almost full okay you are going to go to your c drive here and you are gonna go to the uh, program files say java and it is the java that is jdk so uh, if you are in this section here you can see that java jdk is already installed on your system that's a very good sign guys so that is jdk and if you go inside this bin folder you can see that java exe and java c should be there okay java c is also there okay java exe and java c java c is basically used to compile your program and if you are from web development or something else that is not a those languages are not compiled language it's like c and java c sharp and c plus plus these languages needs to compile means the our source code needs to be converted to binary to talk to the computer that what you are doing and it's same for the android as well you write program in uh, java or create layout using xml and those codes are going to be compiled into a simple zeros and ones that is going to interpret with your uh, Linux kernel and it is going to pretty much run the app on your system. So Java C and Java EXE that you can see here it is Essential guys, you can't really work without this thing. So if you're in the bin folder so Your computer system Don't know about this that you have installed Java. You just installed it on your C drive You could have installed it on anything. So it is not by default. Don't know about the Java I don't know why Oracle didn't include anything like environment variables directly to this one integrating So let's go ahead and uh, do this by ourselves So just right click on your PC and go to the properties here and I'm going to go to the advanced system settings go to the environment variables and go to the path okay say go to there no it's not i have already set up the path because okay so if you go to this path here you can see that i have already set up the c program files java jdk bin okay what i want you to do here is just copy this url right click on it and hit copy and after you copy this one you go to the new and you just paste it in and hit enter that's it guys okay i have already uh, set up this on my environment with variables so i'm going to basically delete this one okay so i have uh, set up the java and uh, if you want to test that java is really installed on your system you just hit windows r on your system that is the windows button or you can just go to this one and in the start menu and run hit okay <laughs> right run and run this okay so you're going to get something like this and type in uh, cmd and hit on our okay so we're going to run uh, java c hit on our okay so wait for a bit java is slow okay so i uh, if you see something like that after you uh, type in java c and hit enter and this is uh, you can safely say that java is installed on your system guys and yes um, so many things you can do with java that you can see here we're not going to do anything like this when okay so we're, let's go ahead and see if my extraction is really complete here or not i have talked a lot more about this stuff so we're going to use the power of the video editing and we're going to the next section of the extracting part well 
the extraction is complete here and let's go ahead and see what's inside this one so that is android sdk so you got three folders here add-ons which is must be empty okay it is empty and platforms is also empty and tools is also empty i don't know why okay so here inside this uh, tools option you got emulators and some other stuff which is fun we are going to discuss about all this thing and you this is the pro guard it's a very fun thing and there is avd manager and sdk manager okay you are not getting any platform tools along with this one so if you have installed android studio already um then it is must installed on your system so android sdk already is installed on your system if you have ever installed android studio or run a software or create a create any kind of apps in your system so how do you see that is it already installed on your system or not so you must find the uh, default installation directory if you have installed on android studio on your system already then uh, you must install it on your default uh, location because uh, it is the thing that, that we always do we don't change locations okay if you have changed the location if you remember this then you can check it uh, that whether it is installed on your system or not but we are going to talk, show you the default location of android studio so we are gonna run uh, run again <laughs> like previous time so in this case we are going to type in uh, percentage app data percentage and hit ok so um, you can see that I am inside a folder called app data if you click on this one just go to the local and in this section you may find a folder called Android and there is no Android folder because I have I didn't install my Android SDK on the default location uh, while, cre uh, while uh, installing Android Studio where I installed it I installed it on my G Drive that's my wish you can install it anywhere and if you go inside this Android folder you can see that Android Studio and SDK so let's go ahead and see what's inside this SDK okay so I am inside this SDK and you can see that you are getting platform tools and in this section there is a pretty important part pieces of software that is ADB okay so what is adb so that's the de debug bridge yeah that i have already told you about in the prerequisite section but uh we're going to pretty much work a lot with this adb stuff so you're not getting the adb inside this one i don't know why uh, so if you didn't get anything like this one uh, i recommend you to install the android studio because you are going to pretty much develop softwares or apps in future using android studio so why i am giving you this course the android command line tutorial to understand how actually android studio works and how the android apps are making so whenever you write some code and hit enter and run on your system it just magically runs something is uh, not happening major magically guys trust me so to know this that how this thing is happening uh, you should install the android studio if you have installed android studio you're going to get something like this uh, whatever i'm getting here so and still your operating system don't know about your SDK so what we're going to do here is going to the run again and go to the no we're not going to run uh, we're going to this PC and uh, go to the properties here and hit the change settings I guess no 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 advanced system settings and environment variables and here we go and it is the path okay now go to the path and you can find that there is a three section Okay, what are the three things? That is uh, SDK platform tools, that's SDK tools and the app data roaming though. So it is not really required for you. That is something else. Okay, so you have to set up these two things here. So if you go to your Android default installation SDK directory, here we go. You can find that that is platform tools and you just copy this one and paste it on your path fold variable and if you have already did it that's very awesome then we are going to go to the tools here and we're going to copy this path and we're going to paste it in here so if you don't find any path variable like this one um, that should be in here but if you don't find one you just click on the new and type in path and you just put in any variable value and hit ok so you can even find a browse directory or browse file as well that's pretty awesome feature okay so let's go ahead and cancel out of this and hit okay i have set up everything now let's go ahead and see that whether 
my system can detect adb or not so let's go ahead and try typing adb and hit enter okay so adb is currently set up in my system guys so as you can see a lot of gibberish stuff you don't know about you or you may know about this thing that is very fun stuff guys so as you can see here that is a which is direct listen adb to interfaces for a connection there are so many awesome stuff so let's go ahead and do something here uh, let's go ahead and do a simple thing with adb like adb devices and hit enter so you can see that list of devices attached and it is searching for the devices no there is no devices is connected on my system there are no devices connected currently on my system no virtual no physical if if you have uh, connected a uh, physical device there is a different issue that you have to enable some usb debugging and stuff but if you have a virtual device that we are going to do here in this tutorial uh, you must see a devices name in this section here if you have uh, entered typing adb devices so we are going to do some lot of stuff about this uh, cool adb and some other things and i think it will be fun and uh, stay in touch with me guys and this is going to be very fun and part four will be a little bit of coding we are going to get dive into the coding and you must think that i'm just showing you part and presentation and cmd stuff this is not going to be it we're going to do some real coding in the part four so see you in the part four guys